¿Aló? Hola, hola, aquí te da. Aquí te da la base. Ok, ahora, en el last class, we have discussed uh, ICIC Specimen Question Paper, Section A, en la parte 1, Section A, right? MCQ. All the 20 questions we have discussed. Ahora, I'm going to explain, <coughs> I'm going to explain the second topic. Ok. To share my screen. The second question, question number 2. And that. After the second question, uh, this question consists of 20 months, right? All are compulsory. Okay, now I'm going to improve the screen. Can you see me? Sorry, can you see the screen? I hope. Yeah. Rewrite the following code using single if statement. So he has given if and if and else if, right? So now and he has used equal equals and equal equals small g and capital G. Then your output should be green, right? If if code is equal to G. And code is equal to G means if code is small g, lowercase g or capital G, we're going to print. Then any if anyone is there means that is also right, right? You can see there. He has taken R because every else if both are same. So then what is the thing I can rewrite? Question number one. If code is equal to I think you can't see the screen. Code is equal to is equal to small g, then R symbol. Code is equal to is equal to capital G. Then you are going to print system order printer, and that is green. And if it is small if right. Okay, now we can print system is system order printer and green. Why I use the R symbol logical R? Because it is saying that what it is saying. It is saying that. If or else if, right? Okay. Now, uh, this problem only I will take. This is not in the question in Kupila. How we can convert if else if into the ternary operator or ternary operator into the if else? And what ternary operator says? First is the expression, question mark, statement one, semi, sorry, colon, statement two, semicolon. Here he has given if code g is equal to, right? I want to convert this one to that. Now we can convert code is equal to. First, I'm going to write the expression. What is the expression? If it is not if else, we can't convert because this is not if else. If else, if that we can't convert. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Now he has given the expression B R. Now can see here. This is the short form he has given. B star uh, A plus plus minus plus plus B plus 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 a and a values 2 and b values 2 to minimize can you see to minimize this screen one second now this is the this is also tricky one if you understood properly it is not tricky one. what is the question you asked second question is to b star b star whatever b star is equal to a plus 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 sorry plus or minus plus plus b plus 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 a okay, this is actually the simple expression you will get easy marks and yes both semicolon right so what is the initial value of a and B value he has given A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3. Now first this now we can expand B is equal to B into then same expression A plus plus uh, that we going to copy. First one is short from the expand monica vector. And now b is equal to the updated value of uh, initial value of b is 3, 3 into um, a plus plus. What is the initial value of a? It is 2 only. After the execution, it will become 3, right? Next to minus plus plus b. b value is 3 only, so it is the updated value is 4. Plus plus. Updated value of a is here after the execution it will become 3 and pre-increment is there, so it will become 4. 
Now B is equal to which one which chapter are you going to evaluate first? Three two is a six minus four plus four. Three two is a six. So it is minus four plus four gone. So it is the value of B. B is equal to six. And now this program we can evaluate in the compiler. We can check in the compiler. And we could take the name as. As we know, this one already in the operator chapter we have discussed, right? Break. Break. This value you can evaluate semicolon. And you can print 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 ln and b. Is there any error? Last compiled, no error. It's coming six, right? Correct. What we have done is first you need to expand. Got it? What is this scenario? Okay. The scenario, and we can go to the next question. The next question: A student, a student executes the following program segment and gets an error. Identify the statement which has an error, correct the same to get output as win. Okay, now we are going to find out error and output should win. So, he has taken Boolean x is equal to true and he has passing x. Case 1 is println and he used the break and in the case 2 you are using what is the error? You get an error. Uh, in error, oh, sorry, okay, 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 okay. Here you are passing the boolean value and in the case you are taking what is it is taking? You are taking integer, right? What is that? Again, what about kidna? Instead of boolean x, you are going to take int x instead of data type is integer x. Instead of true, you can take 1. So, switch off x According to this, when output and win win means case number one. So what is the value of x? X will become one. So you can rewrite boolean x instead of boolean x. That is one. Integer x is equal to one. So we'll get the win. If you want to lose our output means integer x is equal to two. So then it's going to print lose. That it. These are all simple. You know the switch, right? I write the Java expression for Cube root of 3 plus square root of y. And that is mad dot cube root. You can rewrite. So, question number 3 what we can type? Integer x is equal to 1. Then, so then case 1. Case 1. And system order print ln. With, right? Break case two system. I am not writing the system order printer, I'm just writing SOP. SOP stands for printer that is loose. So, this is the error. What is the error here? And this given boolean x instead of that integer value you get. And what is the third question? And fourth question, how to calculate mad dot cube root of cube root of x and square root of y root of x plus mad dot square root of y and after that you put semicolon don't forget to put the semicolon okay and what is the fifth question how many times will loop execute and write the output what is the value of x is yes, given 10 while true which loop this is while loop huh? okay true system out print eleven x plus plus into 2 x modulus 3 and that you can Use the blue jay. Rough. What is 
statement is given. Just I'm going to rewrite. Okay, in prefix only I will copy right. And no need to type once again. Prefix will prefix. Now what is the question here? Int x is equal to 10 y then system of dot int ln x plus plus into 2 If uh, okay, 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 if x modulus three well, tricky question. That tricky. How to use the break? After successful, we are able to break, and it goes away. Now we can count. It. What is the error? Small x. We can very prefix. So what is the output is here? It's coming twenty and twenty two. How many times it is going to execute? Two times, right? Let's press first. 20 and 22. The question. First, x is 10. System model print 10 into 2 is 20. 20 model as 3 is uh, 0. No, it is not going to break. Again, it is going to print. So, what is the value of x become? x plus plus means after the execution it will become 11 right so 11 11 into 2 is 11 into 2 is 22 22 modulus 3 is 0 3 7 that 21 no what is the value of x x plus plus now it is become 12 12 into 2 is 24 24 modulus 3 is 0 0 so it is not going to print the 24 it is going to print 20 and 22 right now next write the write the output of the following method x x what is the string x in the x the character it is capital g right why it character it is g so you are going to compare both first letter and this letter are this correct right what is the answer you get true and system order print an x dot compare to y so it is going to print what is the uh, ASCII value of G? It's both are same minus. Yeah, both A A same. Uh, now what is the ASCII value of L and what is the ASCII value of L? So what is the value of ASCII value of L minus ASCII value of B? What is the sixth, sixth question? It is true. And uh, minus one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. M. Ah, okay. After that, it is M, right? So it is minus one. Minus one means what is the ASCII value of uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. L, L, and right? 12, and 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, in uh, compared to return type is integer. You must know this one. Okay. Next, predict the output for a uh, snippet. So character B. What is the ASCII value of B is 65 and 66. Uh, character VHR, character to lowercase ch. So to lowercase ch. Ch value is Capital B is lower case other in agate two lower case means small b. So what is the ASCII value of small b is 9798? And integer n uh, here you are, you are doing explicit conversion, integer of character. Character and the value within security 98 minus 10. 98 minus 10 is 88. Right. So you are going to print system order print in character of n. Character of n. 88 is the n character of 90 is capital Z. X plus 5 space character. Character in the small b. So the answer is given. X capital X 5 space b. Right. Hmm. Okay. 
now a student is trying to convert a string present in h2 numerical value can find out the converted square root of a converted value where the code has an error name the error and correct the code compiles correctly string x is taken double integer we is taken return type as integer double parse double means return type is also double here and double at not, not that is the only error double y yeah that's it yes you suppose has to take double so you take 25 25 string is converted into the integer and parse double mat dot square root of 25 is we'll get 5 5.0 not 5 because return type is double you'll get a 5.0 that it next consider the following segment and answer the below calculate class name is calculate has taken two variables int and b as not initially declared and just taken calculate so class name and no parameter means it's a default constructor here initializing initialization of a becomes zero and b is 0, 0.0 there is default constructor and he has taken parameterized constructor a will become x and b will become y and while sum has taken this is a method system order print ln a into b okay now name the type of constructor very simple it is default constructor this is parameterized constructor default constructor is also known as non-parameterized constructor all right consider the following program segment and answer the question in the video as we know two four five six in this question i'm going to use the the question number this is 10th it is given in the form of in a two four five six next five seven Eight one next thirty four ten nine question number so how many how many number of rows three number of rows and four number of columns right okay now what is the position of 34th there is 34 so index start from 0 0 1 2 right so row is 2 and uh, column is 0 right it is 2 0 and answer x of 2 0 yeah. next is resultant of x of 2 3 plus x of 1 2 2 3 where it is this is second row 2 3 0 1 2 3 uh, this one 9 plus x of 1 2 0 1 and 0 1 2 9 plus 8 plus 9 will get answer uh, 17 9 plus 8 that is 17 don't confuse here so i value is 0 here i value is one of them huh? yeah. i value is 2 don't confuse here it is JLIN for the X of I mean, you go to JF zero. J value is one. J value is two. J value is three. Now in the key down here. Two three. Two three you don't confuse. You said two dimensional area. Uh, two and index column number three seven uh, in the first one row number one and column number two uh, this one these two values so I'm going to add and the first one is 34 34 is located at which row row number two and column number zero that is the answer x of two zero right okay uh, this is the question number two in section section number two and question number two in the question paper. Got it? Okay. Now in the program, I'm going to remaining we have section B. We have question number three. This is related to the methods. So we can use the different variables and different member method here. You have to write the program. Program is related to this is binary search and the input is not integer, it has taken double. Question number five, one question related to the string. 
we can convert accept a letter into the upper case and create display by using oval by immediate next letter so, okay oval means a i o u here it will be rotate now what is it question number six is array ah this is already uh, okay this is simple how we can take four plus four array and how we can add the element in row is the next one is question number seven is one number question from the any numbers span in drums by number super spy number near as super number armstrong evil number chronic number lead number so that we are going to explain so many number problem super spy means if you are going to take the number one zero two one you can add one plus zero plus two plus one four the number of digits one plus two uh, two three how many number of digits are there four mm -hmm. that type of number is super spy and the question number eight is this one method overloading overloading means the name of the method is display 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 save what parameter are different so you can expect two questions from method two questions from arrays and that one question from single dimensional array one question from two dimensional array one question from string and one question from the so, number that it this is the pattern this is according to the 2025 specimen question paper we are dealing that it if you want to score properly means you should learn the array method all the chapter because one of the question also there okay next in the next session i am going to explain i'm going to explain in the next section i'm going to explain the next programs okay thank you